original concept was that I wanted to have a band that was based around the drum riffs and the drum patterns that I'd been studying and creating. I'd spent a lot of time studying and trying to stretch myself musically and to come up with different original style patterns, but still keeping very groove oriented and very uh, song oriented type patterns. It wasn't to be a jam band. It wasn't to be, uh, you know, show up every riff that I could play. I was more concerned about the songs, but at the same time, I wanted to make it very rhythmic and be able to use a lot of the ideas that I was able to come up with while practicing and just studying on my own. With these ideas uh, and different concepts that I had as far as songs and different drum patterns, obviously I needed the rest of the band and I needed to be able to find a guitar player, a keyboard player that I could work with and I was able to adapt to what I was trying to do instead of just coming in with all his ideas and expecting the drummer to play the traditional role and just sort of follow what he was doing. A good friend of mine gave me a bunch of numbers and uh, Wayne Finley was one of them. My name's Wayne Finley, I'm the band Slavier. And one of the most appealing aspects of Wayne right from the beginning was the fact that he lived in San Diego where I lived, so that made it very convenient. It was very important to me to be able to play with someone instead of just sending things through the mail or you know via internet or that kind of stuff. I'd done a lot of records that way, done a lot of recordings. And just at times it seems to be really missing the human element of getting together and bouncing ideas and changing things on the spot and just being able to throw the ideas back and forth. So basically, um, Wayne was out on tour with MSG. When he came back, I sent him a few ideas. He put down a couple of his ideas to my ideas. And basically, we were off and running. It was uh, the things he did were, first couple ideas were Shatter, Dove, and Alter. And uh, it just turned into a really nice, comfortable working relationship. One of the few guys that I've ever met that have been able to take what I do and play to it and create to it without having to change this and change that. It continues today. We're halfway through the second record and everything's going great. We have a great uh, relationship uh, in the studio and how to work together and the different ideas back and forth. And um, I'm very satisfied with it. I'd asked the uh, same friend of mine as far as vocalist who we could recommend. Uh, for the band, and he gave me a few names, and I did contact Greg Anaya. I'd known Greg from Tribe of Gypsies, and uh, got into contact with him and found out that he had taken the last year off of music, sort of been dissatisfied with, with, with what was going on uh, in the industry and his bands and so on and so forth, and basically spent a year studying the various new styles that were out there, what guys were doing today, very modern approach to everything. Sent us back a couple songs and completely blew us away. He had put a real spin on what we were doing and really formulated what the band, you know, basically the direction that we could go in. Uh, it was very interesting that uh, in the beginning I told Wayne that I thought that two things were going to really, big, you know, play big into this band as far as its sound and its success. And the real truth of the matter that it wasn't Wayne and I, it was going to be number one, a singer. And obviously that happened with a very unique singer. And second, it was going to be an engineer. Uh, we were very concerned with the production of the album. We were very concerned of being competitive with what was out there today and not having a traditional you know, 80s sound that we were all basically used to and where we all came from. And it was very important to move into a modern era and a modern recording technology. So I'd contacted uh, John Baxter, who manages Rob Halford, who I know through my studio in Los Angeles, and he suggested I call Signature Sound and speak to the manager, Luis, down here in San Diego. And Luis turned me on to Joe Marlette, and he said he'd be the perfect guy for us, and he actually did turn out to be the perfect guy. Uh, very modern, very hip, very cool guy, knows what he's doing, uh, brought our sound out, and actually was involved in a lot of the production of what we did. We originally went into it not looking for a guy to help produce the record, but as it turns out, Joe was a main force in the production of the album. Yeah. It was very important from the very beginning to make sure that this band was a live band, that it was an actual band and not just a project, as uh, obviously in today's music scene you see a lot of those kind of things. I didn't want this to be considered uh, Mark Zonder's project or what he's doing when he's not playing with other people. This is my main band and actually my only band, and I wanted to make sure that was very clear. And it was very important for us to go out and play live. So at the end of January, we decided to play two shows up in the L.A. area and um, they turned out great. Uh, it was very important for us to see that the music could translate in a live form. So we're very much looking forward to taking this on the road, 
taking it up the coast, taking it across the United States, taking it to Europe. We're basically game to play anywhere. Uh, we had a great time. It was very important for all of us that uh, when we started this, the one thing that we had in mind, you know, obviously as well as selling records, was that we wanted to have fun. I know it sounds very cliche, but we wanted to sort of get back to basics where playing was for playing's sake and just really enjoying the playing, not worrying about the tour bus, the merchandise, the this, the that, the grape juice, the backstage, whatever. We just wanted to play and convey the music. We were so excited about what we had created and what we were doing, we wanted to put it out in a public forum.